Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is the Geometry Unit, Lesson 10, Volume of Composite Solids. After this lesson, you need to be able to find the volume of a composite figure by decomposing it into cubes, cones, cylinders, and spheres, and using the known formulas for these figures. Let's learn. Composite solids. A composite solid is an object that's composed of multiple three-dimensional solids. So we can see here in our first, we have two cylinders, one on each end, with a rectangular prism in the middle. If I wanted to find the volume of this, I could find the volume of each part and combine them together. In the blue one here, I have two cones and a cylinder in the middle. For this one, that's almost shaped kind of like an ice cream cone, I have a hemisphere, so half of a sphere and a cone. And here in orange, I can see that I have a sphere and a cylinder. Or maybe if this was a little darker, you could see that we have a hemisphere and a cylinder. So some of these, you might be able to decompose break it down into different ways to figure it out. In order to find the volume of our composite solids, we're going to decompose the object into solids where we know how to find the volumes and then combine them back together. So in this picture here, we have a cone and a cylinder. Using the given dimensions, I can see that the volume of the cone, using our formula for our cone, going through, the volume was 627 pi. Doing the same for the cylinder, I use my cylinder formula, plug in my values, the volume is 1,152 pi. Now for the volume of the whole entire object, I'm going to combine those two together. So adding them together would give us about 5,730.3 cubic centimeters, or if we left it in terms of pi, then we could end up with 1,824 pi. Remember, you can have it either way, but usually it's going to ask you for a specific form of your answer. Example one, find the volume of composite solids. Find the volume of the solid round to the nearest tenth. So first, we need to find out the volume of each solid, and we need to really first tell what shapes we're decomposing it into. So I have a cylinder, I can see that on the top, and then it's sitting on top of a cone. So I need those two formulas, volume of a cylinder, volume of a cone. In my picture here, I can see for the cylinder that the height is four, but the diameter is eight. So I need the radius, which is half of that. Radius must be four. So I'm gonna plug in four for the radius, four for the height, and then, I can calculate it out. So 4 to the second power is 16 times 4 is 64 pi. For my cone, if I can imagine that cylinder has the same size circle, so the radius of the cone also would be 4, but this time the height would be 5. So plugging in 4 to the second power times 5 would give us 16 times 5 is 80. 80 times 1 third is 80 thirds. We could divide that out and get 20 something, but we can also just leave it as a fraction for now. Our next step then is to combine our two volumes back together so we can get the total volume of this composite shape. So adding them 64 pi plus 80 thirds pi gives us 272 thirds pi. Then multiplying that out by 3.14, since it does say round to the nearest tenth, it would simplify to about 284.8 cubic feet. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and find the volume of this solid round to the nearest whole cubic meter. As a quick hint, the volume for a rectangular prism is equal to length times width times height, and there are two of them. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said the volume of the structure is about 2,354 cubic meters. This time it wanted it to the whole meter, so no decimals. For the two rectangular prisms, we have a, a length of 20 times a width of 8 times a height of 5. Multiplying those out, that's 40. 40 times 20 is 800. And then we have two of them. So the two rectangular prisms were at 1600. For our cylinder, the radius is 4. So we end up with 4 squared times pi times our height of our cylinder is 15. So 4 squared is 16, 16 times 15 is 240, and then multiplying that by pi, we end up with 753.6, which I'm just going to round to the nearest whole right now, so 754. Adding those two things together, we end up with our final 2,354. Example 2, find the volume of composite solids. Tamaya uses cube-shaped beads to make jewelry. Each bead has a circular hole through the middle. Find the volume of each bead, round to the nearest tenth. So first, again, we need to find the volume of each solid. Here, though, 
this composite shape is actually two shapes where one is removed from the other. So we can see here in the picture, we have a cube and there's a cylinder that's taken out of the middle, right? If it's a bead, there's gonna be some place for the string to go through it. For the volume of a cube, it's just like a rectangular prism. We could do length times width times height, but since all the sides are the same length, we can do whatever one side is to the third power. So we can use V equals S to the third power, side cubed. Plugging in our number, we can see the side is 12. So 12 to the third power is 1,728. Now for the cylinder, it gives us the diameter is two. So the radius is one, one to the second power is one times 12 is 12. The volume of that cylinder that we're taking out of the bead is 12 pi. Now, this time we're not adding them together, we're subtracting. So 1,728 minus 12 pi is about 1,690.3, meaning our volume is about 1,690.3 cubic millimeters. Check your understanding. Find the volume of this solid. Pay a close attention to if you need to add your two volumes together or if you're taking one away from the other. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said that this one, the volume is 340.3. If we have the volume of our cone, first the radius is five. So five squared radius squared times pi times our height of our cone is four. 25 times four is 100. So this cone is 100 pi. I'll leave it as pi now and multiply by 3.4 later. And remember, since it's a cone, we also needed to do one third. So this would be divided by three. For the cylinder, we have the same radius and we have pi. This time, our height though is three. So 25 times three is 75 pi. Now for this one, I'm adding the two things together. So my final thing after I add them together and multiply by 3.14, then I get 340.3. My units would be cubic centimeters.